Hello, my sadistic bastards. How the hell are you? Uh, tonight, I know I was not going to do no more hot, anything spicy or hot until next week. Until after Christmas, anyways. You know. But, my little brother hooked me up with a pretty massive jar of some wicked stuff. Some pretty, pretty spicy stuff. I mean, it ain't it ain't excruciating. It ain't like mouth face burning and melting or nothing. But it's still pretty darn hot. Let me introduce you to it. It's in the cool jar. That right there. Got it at Big Lots. I think it's like six bucks. But look at that. Ain't that cool as heck? It is called Bone Rattler. Dead Raising Flavor. So hot, it's scary. Hot sauce. And open up the tag here. Uh, says, uh, oh. It does have a lot of vitamin C in it, which is, I'm, I'm good, I'm happy with that. It don't say, it just say chili peppers. Don't know which one. It could be, uh, it could be any, any of them. Um, on the back of the tag, it says, you can, has an ingredients for a deadly Bloody Mary. But you can use it. Uh, fill up a highball glass. With ice. Vodka. Tomato juice. Oh, okay that's the. And, and the sauce here. But you can also use it. For whatever. Whatever it pleases you. But. Once I empty this. I'm going to fill it back up with another hot sauce. And, you know, so on and so forth. I freaking love this jar. This jar is cool. I plan on buying a few more. Because I love skulls and stuff like this. But, it's a freaking big freaking jar. Now again, it's not face melting, but it's still hot. And I like hot. You can smell the heat from it, too. I like it. Aaron, thank you, bub. <sighs> Stir you up. It's medium thickness. Yeah, it smells pretty good. Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. You dip back in there because I don't want to. I want no baby, tr baby drink. Oh, God. There's the bite. Oh. I do think it's on a maybe habanero. But I can taste the habanero in it. I can also taste the jalapeno in it too. Oh. Oh. Does that? That is warm. It's not excruciating. It's not overpoweringly hot. My little brother gave me a good idea. This would be good on tacos, burritos, probably some chili. Uh, if you fancy someone a cheeseburger, which I do. Oh.
Now, it does have a good flavor to it. Lips is burning, the tongue and the roof of the mouth, and down the throat, because, you know, I swallowed it. But it is, it's nice, actually. I really, I really enjoy that. Uh, you know, I've done the, whew, it's building up a little bit. That was a, that was a lot. It's starting to get a little hotter than your, than what did earlier. <sighs> Damn. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's, it's getting pretty warm. It's still not like the ghost pepper, the reaper, or scorpion pepper. But I can definitely taste the habanero. And also the jalapeno. I can still taste, I can definitely taste them. But again, it's a nice flavor. I really, I really enjoyed the flavor of that. If I wouldn't be up all night with a heartburn and probably farting fly blue flames on my rectum, I would eat a lot more of it. That right there, just a little bit mixed in with your salsa or chili or what have you, that'd be nice. I am getting a hint of garlic. Uh, a little bit of lemon juice. And some vinegar as well. But yeah, uh, if you got a big lots around, and you can spare six to ten bucks, Pick a big jar of that up. It's really nice. If you like spice, but not overwhelming spice, this is it. Now, if you like overwhelming spice, I would suggest Dave's Insanity Sauce. Thank you, Shane. Or, if you like something so daggone hot that throws you into a panic attack and sets your body into a shock... Go with the bomb. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, but, of course, the guy, Tommy, uh, he's the one done the tattoos on him. He gave me a bunch of uh, habanero sauce. and it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It's actually really nice. It's not real hot. Uh... Now that Peach Carolina Reaper I have, it's pretty damn hot too. But it has a nice sweet flavor to it as well. You can, as a peach, you can taste you can taste the peach, you can taste the sweetness in it. But the heat from that Carolina Reaper will shove his hand dead up your hind end and use you as a puppet. I've been thinking about doing doing a stand up uh, segment, but the only problem is the jokes that I know would probably get me booted off of YouTube. So no, I ain't going to do any segments on politics or religion unless I can add multiple different religions into it. Because I'm sure some, uh, I, I do have viewers who is of different religions. And, you know, I don't want to step on anybody's toes. I don't want to, you know, insult them. You know. 
Everybody has a right to their own beliefs and their own religion. I'm getting me some snuff. Tastes the way it looks like shit. And I have had people ask me, well, if you feel that way, then why are you doing it? Well, I've been doing it since I was in third grade. I was probably five, six years old when I started, and I'm 38 now. But, uh, yeah, the Bone Rattler. Keep an eye on it. I'm sure you probably go on Amazon or whatever and order as well. It comes in that really cool, in this really cool, badass jar. The skull. I may or may not fill this back up with uh, other hot sauces when I'm done. I don't know. I might use it for something different. I don't know, but I do have a connection with skulls. I don't know why. Uh, again, I'll ask y'all if there's a video, some content that you, my viewers, would love to see. Please let me know. I am more than happy to do this content for you. I'm here for you and you alone. I'm here to uh, take care of your downtime. Your, if you're bored and you need something to watch, something entertaining to watch, or if you're sitting in a in a doctor's office and you need a few minutes to do something. I'm going to turn to my videos, but I want to have something that you like. It's the only reason why I'm doing all these different types of videos, not sticking to one certain type. Now, I remember my very first video, which has been several months ago, uh, on Corona. The Corona virus, which is still running rapidly today. I was kind of figuring it would probably, hopefully it would have been done, dead and over with by now, but it's sure it's not. People just can't stay home. <sighs> People don't want to wear masks because I think it's taking up, attacking their freedom, their rights. It's just common sense. But well, I'm not getting into that. Uh... But what do you what do you, my viewer, would love to see? Well what interests you? What do you want to sit down and watch? Is it his, something historical? You wanna watch historical stuff stuff. Um I don't know if my son is listening, but we got him something for Christmas. No, I better not say cause uh he watches my videos too, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a whole, whole big segment on that. One. That's probably gonna be 10, 12, 13, 20 video segment for that. Don't quote me on it, don't know yet. Might have to wait till it warms up. But, anyways, um, Yeah, just let me know. Drop me a message in the bottom, and I'll hook you up. I am thinking about getting a bag of ice and a bucket of water, and just walking outside in the yard and just my swim trunks. You can see my disgusting body, which will probably make everyone throw up. But I'm gonna step out there. I'll have my kids. Have a bucket of water a piece, and I'll do a cold water challenge. Three ice cold buckets of water down upon my head. I mean, it's been pretty pretty cold outside. I will get down on my knees, so my even my youngest one will be tall enough to dump it on me. 
She just is busy. And you guys get your kick of me freezing my booty off. Well, Night Squatch Prepper, out. I'm sorry. I thought I was done, but I want to give my buddy Shane a shout out. If you're watching my videos tonight, this is for anyone, any of you who's watching this, and you haven't subscribed to me yet, please do me a favor and please show me some love and please do so. Please, it, it, uh, it takes no effort at all. Push that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up and hit the bell. It's going to take a couple seconds of your time. Uh, if you don't want to hit that bell, that's fine. But give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me. Uh, tell your friends and family about my videos. Tell, tell whoever about them. Have them come check me out. And when you do, go to my buddy Shane's uh, channel. It's Shane Space 717. Hit like and subscribe to him. Check out his content. He has some really cool stuff. Check him out as well. Now, not all of my videos is going to be on hot stuff. I am wanting to do some more adventuring. Not keep going to the same location, but there's other places that I'm wanting to go on an adventure to and, you know, check out and everything. And, uh, I don't know. There's a, I know of a couple caves, one in particular called Devil's Den. In the 40s or 50s, they blew the door of it down, the uh, the entrance of it down, but you can still lay on your belly. You got a, maybe a four foot area you can lay down and slide in. Now, the reason why I haven't done it yet, they have been sightings of mountain lions back here, which this is Kentucky. We really don't have stuff like that, but you know, things migrate. And it's going to be nice for rattlesnakes and stuff, unless I do it this time of year. Of course, they can be den back here. But uh, in the 40s or 50s, there what there was a group of teenagers went back in there. You go back there so far, and there's a big opening in the floor. You can turn a flashlight on, drop it, it goes plumb out of sight. It does not hit the bottom. You do not hit hear it hit the bottom, but it goes completely out of sight. The flashlight, mind you. Well, some teenagers fell down in there, and they have in the fifties, and they have never been found. Now, I have been back in that cave once. We had to stick a few boards across it. You know, it's a good opening. It's probably about wide as a couch is long, a sofa. And we shimmied across, and go down this big old long corridor, and it opens up in this big, massive room. Um. But it looks like a big honeycomb. These big old holes all over the place. It looks like a giant honeycomb. Beehive is what it looks like. But you can walk back in there and the, back in those holes. And they just go down. Eventually they go like this. And like a big old slide. I haven't been back in those holes. I'm afraid to go back in those holes. And the reason why it's called Devil's Den. Because some people used to go back in there and do satanic worship. And... Uh, I like to go back in there sometimes and look over that place. You never know. Native Americans or or even farther back than the Intertoles might have been back in there and lived in it or whatever. There might have been some, somebody back in the Civil War or even earlier might have hid stuff back in there. That would make a really good video for you guys. But, that's nor here or there. I just, if I did that, I would not take my son far too dangerous. And I'm not going to put my kids in the danger for YouTube. I might put myself in a little bit of danger for YouTube. So, but there's other places that I can explore and check out. And bring you guys, bring you guys along with me. Um, I think it's it.
I do believe that's it. Uh, yeah, just drop me a message at the bottom of these my any of my videos. I'll get them, the the uh, thing. Let me know and uh, just give me a shout. I'll say, hey, Jason, uh, I would love to see your video on this. I like to learn this. I like to know about this. I like to see you do this. If it's within reason. I'll do it for you, you know. I may be goofy, I act goofy as heck, but I'm not a dumbass. I ain't gonna risk my life. Well, you guys have a merry Christmas, a happy New Year. If you want to drink, stay out of your car, stay away from anything with a motor on it. Uh. It's not only your life you're putting in danger, it's everybody else's around you. Uh, you don't you don't want to be responsible for someone else's life or some, some little kid. Drink responsibly. Give your keys to somebody that isn't drinking. Have them hold it for you. Call you an Uber, call you a taxi, or whatever. Or just stay where you're at and spend the night where you're at. Please don't go out and be stupid. Stay safe. Wear a mask. Stay away from people as much as you can. If I knew you guys were listening to me, I would say stay home. Stay home. You have a lot less chance of catching this crap if you stay home. And, um, you know, be with your family at home. Or um, if you have to go to your parents' house, wear a mask when you go out. And uh, just be respectful, be mindful, be courteous to everybody around you. And if you see someone you, if you went to, if you go to a store and you see someone you know, keep a good distance if you have to speak to them. Don't be up in their face. Because that's just common courtesy for them and common sense for you. But at the end of the day, I can't tell you what to do. That's, that's all on you. I'm just trying to be helpful. Um, <clears throat> but leave me a message. Let me know what you want. What you want to see Jason do for you. <sighs> Thank you all. Have a great night or day, which wherever you're at. Uh, have a Merry Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, whatever it is that you celebrate. Just have fun and just, do, uh, just be respectful. Be mindful. I love y'all. Merry Christmas. Night Squatch Prepper out. <laughs>